What is going on, Pats Nation? It's Pages Global here back with another video. In this one, got a little bit of disappointing news, as I'm sure you do all know by now. Stefan Gilmore has been diagnosed with COVID-19. And I'm sure you're all like, well, no, the Patriots Global. We all been known this. You're, you're late on this one here, buddy. And the reason that I did take a little bit of time to wait and make this video was just because the NFL was in the midst of changing the rules on COVID-19. There was a, you know, priority wise between it being five to 10 days being out there for the minimum, depending on how you respond to the COVID tests. And then while Gilmore, you know, while it was announced that Gilmore was dealing with COVID-19, they kind of switched that rule to, you know, depending on your results, it could only end up being 24 hours. So I wanted to give it some time, see if the NFL was going to change any more rules, how things were going to stand, what the new rule meant. And I think we have a pretty good grasp on how things are going to end up going now, going forward with COVID-19, going forward with Stefan Gilmore, and uh, when their possible return could be. Real quick though, guys, if you haven't already, go ahead and join the group chat over on Flick Chat. Now, if you don't know what Flick Chat is, basically it's a Discord. And I'm sure 99% of you know what Discord is. It's pretty much just a large group chat where we all talk about pretty much whatever we want. But in this case, it usually is about football, you know, whether that's New England Patriots, whether that's about other matchup. It's just a big center where you can connect with other Pats fans from all around the world. Of course, I do have a Discord for people who want to join that. It is on Patreon, and a lot of people said, look, Patriots Global, I don't have the money to be able to pay for that. Can you make just a large one? So I finally ended up doing that, though. But if you do want to join my Discord through Patreon, there is a link to that below. Basically, that one is just a smaller group chat specifically for Patreon-only members in which you guys can also connect to each other, but you can ask me questions and make sure that you get those responses back because, of course, in Flick Chat, we already have over 60 people, and I just expect that to continue to grow. Also on Flick Chat, we talk about the weekly matchups, but not just that. We have a specific group chat where on game day, we send pictures of each other just rocking our merch, rocking our Patriots gear, whether that's you, your family, your brother, your sister, your kids, your pets, no matter what that is, just sending those photos in that group chat to show Pats Nation love. I will put it in the description box below, and it will also be pinned in the first comment in the comment section below, guys. If you haven't joined the group chat yet, go ahead and do it. But yeah, we found out that Stephon Gilmore, the Patriots lead and defending defensive player of the year, the cornerback, ends up having COVID-19, which I think is a really interesting aspect just in the fact that, look, after Cam Newton, the Patriots starting quarterback, got diagnosed with COVID-19, the Patriots, the NFL, they went super crazy making sure to test everybody else. All these tests came back. Uh, so I think the big thing to note here is that COVID does take a few days to show up in the tests. Um... They continued to test these players, of course. They were canceling practice after they found out that Stefan Gilmore did have COVID-19. It still continued to come back negative for the rest of these players, and I do expect it to continue to come back negative for the rest of these players. The big reason that I think it came back positive for Stefan Gilmore is because he was with Cam Newton the other night before Cam Newton was diagnosed with COVID-19. It was actually revealed that Cam Newton and Stefan Gilmore both went out for dinner together. It was suspected that no other Patriots player was with them while they were eating dinner together. But of course, that makes perfect sense. Cam Newton ends up having COVID. Uh, it probably happened when Cam Newton had gone to the mall. There was a video of, or a photo of him going to the mall, taking a picture with a fan. That's probably how he endured it. And then while he was eating dinner with Stefan Gilmore, of course, he probably ended up giving it to him through that. Of course, we didn't know that Stefan Gilmore had COVID-19 while he was playing the game against the Kansas City Chiefs. It didn't look like anything was bugging him too much. So it was a little bit of a surprise when we found out that he did have it. But of course, something to monitor with that too is that at the end of the Chiefs game, Stephon Gilmore and Patrick Mahomes had a little bit of a moment. They shook hands. They gave each other a hug. I think that's a big story that everyone's watching. Of course, Patrick Mahomes, kind of the player at this point that is based around the NFL. Everyone babies him. Um, so we're going to have to see what happens. You know, Now that Stephon Gilmore is diagnosed with COVID-19, he had physical interaction with um, Patrick Mahomes. What's going to happen? 
So what does this mean going forward? Well, this of course means that Stefan Gilmore is officially out. Okay. That's something that I also wanted to see again with the new rule, what was going to happen. But from what we understand, he is at this point, 100% officially out against the Denver Broncos. Is this something you want to happen? No, of course not. This is your number one defender, your number one corner, your number one player in your secondary. But still, the New England Patriots are stacked at that position. While it does suck, while he is one of your best players, while he is your number one defender on your team, thank God it happened on, you know, uh, an aspect, a position where you are stacked rather than, let's say, linebacker court or defensive line. You know, it would have been way worse if Chase Winovich or Jawan Bentley was the player here with COVID-19. At least the Patriots are going up against a team like the Denver Broncos, a team who really does not have it together, a team who is really struggling, is one of the lower teams in the power rankings in the NFL currently. And when you look at the depth the Patriots have at corner, you look at the depth that they have at safety, they should be perfectly fine to play this game without Stephon Gilmore. Essentially, what I see happening with this is that J.C. Jackson now becomes your number one corner. You are going to see a lot more of Jason McCourty also because, look, while J.C. Jackson is your number one corner in this game, I believe, especially because Gilmore is not in this game, you have to understand that Bill Belichick is always going to go with that veteran player. So you're going to see a lot of Jason McCourty also. You're going to see a little bit more of Juwan Williams too. You're definitely going to see a lot more of Jonathan Jones, and you're going to see these safeties also step up. Again, this isn't something that I think will take a big toll on the New England Patriots because they are facing a team like the Denver Broncos, a team that is definitely not like the Seattle Seahawks, definitely not like the Kansas City Chiefs. Their offense is not built around the same, especially with them missing pretty big key pieces, key starters. I definitely think that they will be fine with, uh, you know, Gilmore not playing in this game. And then they'll head into the bye week. And that is another week for Gilmore to be able to come back and recover. So essentially, I believe that he comes back after the bye week against the 49ers. What this will come down to is what type of strain of COVID-19 does Stefan Gilmore have? It seemed like for Cam Newton, he had not a serious string at all. In fact, the tests that he was getting were coming back negative. So that's why he was more on the verge of missing five days rather than 10 days. So we're going to have to see what type of string Stephon Gilmore has because he was really kind of prone to it and diagnosed to it from Cam Newton. It seems like I would expect that to be the same case. But again, something essentially we'll just have to monitor. But for sure, he will be missing this Monday game against the Denver Broncos. That is going to be it for today's video, though. What are your guys' thoughts on Stefan Gilmore being diagnosed with COVID-19, officially being out against the Denver Broncos? Let me know in the comment section below. Remember to give this video a big, big thumbs up if you haven't already, and subscribe to the channel for all of your New England Patriots news. Like always, though, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you in my next video.